Hey everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. It's me, Trap Velma. I know what you're thinking, bitch ain't got her glasses on, but the glare is just terrible. And so because it is, I can't actually wear my glasses. So I'm like vaguely looking at the camera because I can't see it. Um, anyway, today's video, um, I, you know, I've been doing readings lately and stuff, and like, because people have been in the house, I'm not gonna comment on why we're in the house, although I appreciate y'all who are staying in the house. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of like, just see what information is out there for us, because I am taking a chill pill on Zodiacs until next month. So I did do some for May, so if you're interested, definitely check those out. They are gonna be, um, in my videos, but... Um, you know, I'm not going to do two this month. So, um, definitely check out this pick and pile. It is entitled, um, uh, you know, shit, I don't know yet. I'm kidding. Um, it should be messages from spirit. So, what I'm going to do is kind of go, and just advice. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to have three options to choose from. Three, I know. I don't know why I put up three fingers. Um, but you're going to have three options to choose from. And um, they should be pictured over this shoulder right here. I don't know, you know, we're in the beginning process of editing this video, meaning I have it. And, um, you know, so let's take a second um, for you to choose them. Um, you can definitely take a deep breath and choose um, the first pile, which is the pink one over there. Um, you have an amethyst cluster, and that is going to be your first option. Second option is going to be number two, and it's got that pink flower agate on there. And then you have got number three, which has the selenite heart. So again, you know, chill. You can look at it if you'd like. I'm looking at them right now. So if you see my eyes dancing around, that's why. And, um, you know, just take a second to choose. And then we will get started, okay? I hope you're ready. I know I'm ready. Wow, I really just sang that. That was awkward, but whatever. Rock with it, right? Rock with it. it was, I'm going to say it was cool. And um, I'm pretty excited. So uh, let's get into it. Okay. So, um, for readings, I am typically intuitive, so I'm just going to give these a quick shuffle, really quick. I hope you're doing well. Um, I made sure to just take some time out and meditate beforehand. Ooh, a bunch of cards flew up. Um, in the future, I'll be able to actually show you um, the cards and have a better setup. So, you know, you just have to trust me, but I will be showing them on the screen. So, or just um, to the camera. So, if you have any questions or anything, let's go. And uh, I think they're ready. So I'm just going to pull out three to kind of see what's going on. And I'm going to use my little mini tarot cards to clarify. And I usually don't call them out until they're ready. Okay. All right. All right. Pile one. Pile one. I already see you. You look like you have a... Uh, recently, free maybe not recently, but you freed yourself from a situation. Um, I'm just going to do this one more. Okay. And I know a lot of people say this, but it looks like you, yep, you just freed yourself from a situation. Um, and it could be an actual situation. It could just be thought patterns or how you used to do things. Um, in the past, maybe you let people kind of, I don't want to say walk all over you because it's rare that people actually let folks walk all over them. Um, we may give people a little, a little bit too much leeway. But um, that is usually, you know, we do it because we, we do it because we care and because we're nice and it's just like, I, shit, we just do it. Anyway, um, so the first card that I got, and um, these are the Know Your Light Oracle cards. So um, the first one I got was Unbound. I don't, hopefully you can see it. There we go. So it's Unbound. And um, from there, and for me, and this is releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Um, I think that that's kind of been the mode a lot lately with people. They've been really trying to transcend their past situations. And then the second card we got, which is the Oracle, is Warrior Woman. So we're going to get a little bit more detail about it. Um, just from what I gathered in the last one is boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? All right. So... Again, and that's already, so this is the tone of it right now. So I'm going to get into the tarot, but just based on kind of how these came out with these first two cards, and I'm really reading this third one as your advice card just already, um, that we have the Unbound card. Oh, I also just like, I don't know, I'm just really feeling this. So let's see what's going on. All right, so I think 
Yep, it looks like you freed yourself from a situation. One, it, I mean, it could be anything. Um, it's definitely like a relationship that you were part of for a while. It could be a job, could be an actual romantic partnership. The bottom of the deck, you have three of swords. So something that caused you heartbreak, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a relationship. But it looks like now you've either freed yourself or that's something you're working on. Yeah, and the lovers. So it looks like it was a pretty major choice. And that it was something that, um, I don't know, it really pushed you to kind of like, okay, here's what I'm thinking. This relationship was the kind of relationship where it's definitely serious. It could be longstanding. It could be something that was like foundational that you felt truly just, it gave you a lot. Like it was a relationship that was a foundational one. It's one that's important to you. Um, I also re it could be a loved one. I mean, two major arcana out the gate like that. Some people would say is marriage, but it doesn't always necessarily mean marriage. But it looks like whatever it is, at least for me, that it required a choice. I'm going to clarify these lovers really quick. Boom, ten of pentacles and the four of wands. So it looks like you may have chosen to leave a situation that maybe on the surface it looked like it had everything. So it could have, maybe it could have been a worse situation that gave you a lot of money. It could have been a, um... A romantic situation where they just gave you, you know, it gave you the foundation that you needed. Huh. Let's see what's up with this higher fan. Okay, so it might also be a work situation that paid you a lot as well. So, hey, y'all, again, this low key in general, high key in general reading. So, um, it could be work. It also could be a relationship that was a lot of work. Yeah, it was a relationship that required a lot of work. Um, I see the king of swords here so yeah it required you to be strategic i mean people always say that about the king of wands but with this is a little bit colder so you're in your head a lot so it could be work but i read this as i mean hell the way life is set up it could be any of those things point is you had to choose or at least you're in the process of choosing to kind of leave this situation it might require you a lot of work to kind of start over but i almost feel like you'll need to start over to do that so maybe you have recently and if so good job because that shit is not easy starting over and the second card which this is something that i think was required of you was to become a warrior woman. And the question is, have you answered your deepest calling? So I see this as two things, especially with the King of Swords. No, and also with this sword, look, look, look at this person, okay? Always, always ready for battle. And I kind of read that maybe this past relationship that you had to free yourself from really put you in that mode. And so, but in that, of course, it's just kind of like when you have to fight a situation that you've chosen to be in for a while um, and it doesn't serve you anymore, it's best to just go. And so it's kind of like if you were always on guard or always battling someone or a situation, you know, it's not for you, whether it be work, hell, family, anything. Um, so, wow, that's pretty deep. Good job. That is it's truly not easy. Okay, so again, back to the warrior woman. Have you followed your deepest calling? So let's ask about that because I feel like that's being required of you. Oh, got the page of wands, but I don't want to talk too much about them. Huh. Okay. I see this with the page of wands in the tower right and um have you answered your deepest calling i read this as you finally getting your understanding that whatever this past situation was it was a tower situation it was never built on a good foundation to begin with maybe in the past like you thought it was maybe it appeared to be something because we have the devil card right that kind of popped up underneath it to clarify it. the devil card three of swords the fuck right there's some fucked up ass energy right there um but then we also have the ace of swords so there may have been something that was revealed to you about this situation that maybe caused you to realize that the whole thing was not in line with who you are and what you're supposed to be doing so that that's kind of like how all of that came to be that's deep we on pile one that is deep as hell good job because shit breaking off them shackles ain't shit like the whole process sucks all right so 
I do feel like the lesson for you is about boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries, right? So here's the team. I think that this isn't about other people. I think this is about you. See the emperor card? So like, yeah, I mean, in order to take care of yourself and make sure that you're cool, you're gonna need to set your own boundaries. You need boundaries. Um, it's just kind of like boundaries are self-protection. If you were protecting another person, you know, you would be able to easily establish boundaries. So, you know, you wanna definitely establish them for yourself. Huh. But I kind of want to see what other advice there is for you. I'm not going to take that as. Mm, well, let's see. Okay. So, two things. I got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So normally, I don't know. I almost want to read this as upright. And so because I'm reading this, I want to read this as upright. I'm going to read this as positive. And then we got the King of Wands. So normally the King of Wands, he gets a bad rap in tarot. But I feel like in this regard, it's not that. I think that this person in the past, you didn't want to free yourself. So it could have been that maybe... You saw this as a challenge. You saw this as something that you could overcome or conquer. You saw this as a situation that, like, if you were creative enough or if you maneuvered enough or if you were passionate enough that you would be able to get this change made. And Six of Swords is saying, mm-mm, boo-boo. You did everything you could. You dipped out. Um, and I think that this right here, that whole experience coupled with the cards, I think it's really saying that you... You need to keep trusting yourself. So if you freed yourself from a situation, don't go back to it. Um, you need to actually be the emperor and stand in your power. This is not about gender or anything else like that. This is really about being in it because just based on the energy that I've seen, it just seems like it took some time to do this. And it was a really big situation. So you may have had to take a while to power up. And you want to stay in your power on this one just because it's very... When you leave something long established, it's very easy to backslide. And, and it doesn't mean anything in terms of like, you know, you're this terrible person or this whole experience. It's just that it's hard to free yourself from something that maybe you've grown to believe that you've been codependent on or you need. But I mean, it's kind of like clear to me that, yeah, you need to give yourself a chance. You need to invest in yourself. You need to continue to move on. Because, like, it seems like you're real good at following your own. Oh, sorry, honey. It seems like you're really good at following your own advice. So, um, you know, I would say move forward. I mean, damn. Oh, and here's one more at the bottom of the deck that this is actually an add-on to your advice. Boom. Leave. So, I don't know if you can see that. But it says, you go first. The universe will catch you. And I can say this as someone who has uh, taken a few different leaps of faith in their life. You had to make that jump as if there is a net under there to catch you. Definitely don't be crazy or foolish. Be strategic. You know, you want to make sure that you're looking out for yourself and that this decision you make, well, you know, you can make it, I don't want to say quickly, but it could be a few actions synced up and then it's suddenly like a done daughter. You want to make sure that you plan it out though because you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and this is not just you escaping from one situation to another one. And this one just came out, which is the Four of Pentacles. So if this situation involves leaving a job or a home situation, because there's a Ten of Pentacles out there before, hold on to your coin. Maybe also just hold on to kind of what it is that you're saying to whomever. You don't want to tell on yourself and then end up losing out. Because that can sometimes mean that someone's trying to steal your shit and you got to watch out for them. And so, and if it's a work-related thing, you definitely want to... Um, watch out for any ideas or things you may have left before you plan on leaving this work partnership. Okay. Pile one, I think we're pretty much set on that one. So, um, yeah. I mean, we're going to move on to number two. Uh, with, and, yeah. So, we're all set. And uh, thanks. You know, I'll see you in the next video, right? What's up, pile number two? Um, you, pile number two, you chose the flower agate. I think you see it. This is one of my favorite crystals. Look at the little seeds in it and the little flowers. 
<sighs> I love crystals, y'all. I love crystals. I love crystals. Anyway, I want to get on to your reading. So this one right here is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. I love to want oracles for advice and stuff like that. And I don't know, I just, I love these cards. I got them a little bit ago and they're just great. So I'll probably pull them out again. But for some reason, I just feel like if you're really drawn to these ones, maybe you are drawn to the ancestors. Maybe you're getting back into ancestral stuff. Maybe you're kind of like on the more, I don't want to say on the more spiritual side, but maybe you're a little more experienced with spiritual stuff. So the idea of you picking out a pick a pile to stay um, isn't too much. So I'm going to just pull three cards to kind of see what your situation is. Gosh, everybody out here, you're another one. Sounds like someone's had to stand their ground with their boundaries. I'm going to wait until I pull them all out. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. I love this. Go on, pile two. This is what's up. Boom. Wow. And here I was talking about ancestral stuff. So we're going to get into this real quick. I feel like you got... And you got another card for advice. All right. Okay, so let's get into it. So right now, I'm just pulling out some mini tarot so we can kind of go through, add some to the oracle cards, and then I will, uh, or actually, I'm going to shuffle these. All right. So let's get into your current situation or kind of like what it is that you're getting advice on. Huh. Wow. I'll read this as um, you're choosing to do something that either those are like your family. It's not that they don't approve, but if they don't approve it so much as they don't understand it and they probably don't understand how you're going to make a life for it. It could be a lifestyle choice. I kind of read this as like, this screams life of an artist, but it could be like the life of like a mystic or anything else, but you could be doing something that maybe other people haven't done before. And so in your family, I just really truly read this as your family. And like, you know, it's almost like a sense that you got to prove them wrong. So it might be that you have to fight with them and stuff. Not even fight with them. It's almost like being silent. And I'll get into it right now. Okay. The first card I got is the mountains card. And it's talking about standing your ground. And what kind of gets me about this with the mountains is that it's like two sides, right? It almost like reads like a glacier, you know? And it's just like, if you look at the line, there's like all this stuff underneath that people don't see. So it's just kind of like right now with people are underestimating you, right? Or they're only seeing like this part of what's going on. And, you know, you can't really... You can't force people to see the important things, the amazing things that are happening underneath. All you can do is wait for those things to happen, which is the second one that I got, which is stand your ground. Or sorry, not stand your ground. Woo, I'm messing up today. Maybe you just need to do it as well again. But it's, I'm sorry, spring, see your seeds grow. You got the rabbit ready to jump for it as well. But I read that, it's just like, and it makes sense with the last thing where it's like you have to stand your ground and then also see your seeds grow. So... You could be tending to some ideas, kind of like working in silence and you just going to like let people kind of see what you have planned, which is great. I mean, I personally believe in not really speaking on your ideas too much. You can, but, you know, there comes a point where it's like you even move outside of needing support or encouragement from other people to pursue your dreams because you understand these ideas are important and they need to be kept a secret because it is important and special. So that's dope. And the other thing that really makes me feel like you're transcending a lot, whether it be, it could be folks that are within the scene with you, that maybe it could be a job, it could be um, a group that you're in, your family, your friends group. Um, we have the elder card, it says move beyond, beyond ancestral patterns. And so it could be a family thing. I hope you can see this when it's dark in here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could also be past behavior. So I'm going to clarify each one with like the tarot. But damn, yours is pretty straightforward. I mean, hey, it is what it is. 
and then we're gonna get into the advice with it after I go over it with the tarot cards, okay? So, oh, I don't want you to think, I know I'm a little all over the place, but hey, it is what it is, you know? Thanks for, thanks for sticking with me. Um, all right, all right. So let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, we gonna see. Yeah, uh, you're another one. You got the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess. So see, you might be freeing yourself from a situation of mental anguish. And, and the High Priestess, two things. One, she gets her guiding light and assistance from someone from, from up above. So again, you don't really need to focus on other people and what they're telling you right now. You just need to take in what it is. So that could be a sense of believing in yourself within your heart. If that's what it is, you... You, you do that. You believe in yourself. You fucking move for it. You believe in yourself because you do know what's going on. You, you are right. So it may be that, you know, and the high priestess, she's silent too. So she's just out here with all her ancient knowledge, learning more and more things and stuff like that. She's also able to like really uncover secrets and she's balanced. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes you have to be quiet about the powers that you have. Sometimes you have to really look inward too in order to free yourself from from things of the past and right now you may just need to silently sort of stand your ground and silently um go along your own path just because you know other people might not understand right now so i'm gonna get and clarify the spring card yeah oh wow it looks like you're moving on so two things you could be moving on in the spring so it could be something that you're seeing right now you can see that things are starting to come together in the spring. So it could have been a long-standing project or something that you were waiting for the right time. And I mean, it's springtime now, although this video is timeless, but it looks like it might be time for you to spring into action if that is the case. And so then I see this as, yeah, you're moving towards your happiness. I feel like that's pretty goddamn clear. It's literally pointed at the sun card. Um, Yeah. Eight of Cups at the sun. Look at the moon. I love the moon, but the moon looks a little pissed at you walking away from its confusing situation. And you're walking right into that next scene, which is the sunny one, which is like, great. That's the shit. I love this. Yeah, I love y'all. Whoever is watching this video, I'm very happy for you. It's good. It takes a lot of strength to, to leave a situation. Um, but this one I really read is just like, it could be mentally, but it's more so about like maybe... The actions of others really affect you. Let's see. Okay. I'm getting a few different vibes off of this situation. So I got the Six of Cups. And I love this card. Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And it's Move Beyond Ancestral Patterns. Two things. One... Could be that someone from the past, the Queen of Wands, kind of has you shook a little bit. Or maybe this is a person, could be a fire sign, who kind of puts you in this mode of feeling like a child. It could be that, but I'm not sure, though. Let's see, let's clarify it. I also read this as, like... Oh, God. Okay. I get it now. In the past. Ooh, buddy. Okay. In the past, you could have dealt with someone who was a queen of wands energy. And they forced you into this place where you kind of felt like a little ass kid. So it could be one of those situations where you kind of like, they're so smart. They're so talented. They're so creative and stuff like that. So maybe they give you criticism and makes you kind of look down on your own ability. So that's one thing. The thing is, is that with the world card and with the five of that came out with it, it's the end of that cycle, okay? I don't think that you're gonna... Whatever this mental battle was, whatever, whatever it was, I think that you're kind of starting to understand that either that person wasn't all they were cracked up to be and that they were just full of shit, basically, and out here to try to make you feel bad, or... It could be that, you know, in the past, I'm strongly feeling like this person really kind of came at you fucked up, but it's the end of the cycle with that. So either they could have stopped because you came at them and was just not came at them, but you just let them know like, 
hey, I don't really know what your situation is, but it seems like you did tell them, hey, our, however we're communicating, whatever this is, it could be that someone's talking to you like you're a little ass kid and you're not. You had to let them know. And whatever it was, that's exactly what that is. That's what that is. Someone's trying to treat you like you're a little ass kid. You shut that shit down. You were like, boom, roll card, you know. It's it, this cycle over, this cycle of this shit is over and we're on a new cycle now, okay? We are on a brand new cycle, okay? And the cycle does not involve you talking that shit. So that could be one thing. It could also be too that you are also more in your own power and it's just like, so it could be that you're also done with the negative self-talk and that was the first step. And then we got the star card as well, yes. So that's, that's the sign of somebody that's balancing themselves Okay, and that's how I read this one, is that I think that you're just like, look, there's some give and take in certain situations. I think you're starting to see exactly what you have to offer in the situation, but you're starting to see yourself as a star because I think in the past, you were always really focused on the things that other people could do that you couldn't really see your own talents or abilities. So let me pull over your advice card, which is animal guardian, trust your instincts. And for some reason, the way that Al's kind of looking down, it's like, look at them. Like, look at all her animal guys. Just got her back. And I think that this is something that you're starting to understand. So it could be that maybe you, you're you drawn to animals or something like that. But I do think that it's one of those things, like maybe your big issue could have been, um, or, or and it's something you're getting over. It could be self-confidence or motivation due to other people kind of like not giving that to you. But it seems like you're moving out of that energy now. And that you're starting to believe in yourself more. I think maybe just through trials, you're starting to believe in yourself more. I really feel like I need to pull one more. Wise one. Grow within your current situation. Yeah. I think that this is... And that goes back to you relying on yourself and believing in yourself. So... Maybe in the past you just didn't. Maybe you thought you weren't mature enough with that Six of Cup cards. But I think that maybe you're starting to look at your past and go, you know what? I I, I believe in myself. I, I, I'm the person who get it done. Ooh, that was a really wild stutter. Never stutter. Um, so, yeah. Well, pile two, keep kicking ass. I mean, I don't know whose ass you're kicking, but make sure you're not kicking your own ass unless it's in the gym on your little work. Well, not the gym. Don't be at the gym right now. But, you know, kick your own ass if it's towards your own goals and stuff. But don't beat yourself up. And I think that, you know, keep going on your path of being more confident in yourself. Or really, not even confident, but just knowing that you are able to handle anything that comes your way. And I think you're finally starting to learn that. Starting to feel that. And so I'm very happy for you. And, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video, all right? You know, make sure to hit me on social media if you want to link up, become friends, check out posts and stuff like that. And yeah, thank you. Bye. Hey there. What is up? You are pile three and you picked this selenite. I love this. As you can see, oh, y'all gonna learn. I got a lot of crystals. I don't have a whole lot. I've seen some people that got a ton of crystals. I'm very jealous. Um, but thank you for coming, pile three. Um, if you sat through the other two, thank you for sitting through the other two. If you just click to the timestamp, I don't blame you. Shit. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, thanks for coming to the video and let's get into it. So, the, ooh, those just flew out. Damn, what you, you, it seems like you and your guys have a lot to say, um, or your situation. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm using the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Um, for this one. So we're just going to find out some stuff about your situation. Then we're going to get you some advice on it. Um, yeah. And we just going to see. Okay. I also do the cards. Um, I pull them intuitively. I have to. Um, I have to. I'm sorry. I don't like to pre-pick them. And I just like try to ride the wave of the energy. So I pulled out your three cards. And then we are going to, everyone's out here making moves. Actually, almost forgot to pull your advice card. Sorry. So we're going to pull that one. We're going to talk about that one last. Forgive me. I'm sorry if you can hear sirens. I live in an urban area and it just, and it really is one o'clock in the morning, but whatever. Um, okay. Okay. 
So let's get into these cards. Um, if you have any questions about the decks, they're going to be linked in here. And yeah, also tagged on the video. Let's see here. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this fucking video now. Sorry. I'm trying not to say F-bombs, but, um, pile three, I'm sorry. My smoke alarm, our fire alarm went off at, like, one in the morning. So, maybe you just got a whole lot of spicy shit going on in your life. There's a lot of smoke. So, <laughs> we'll see, though. Um, my apologies. I will make sure to edit all that out. Um, uh, okay, so today I use the Wisdom of the Oracle cards for yours, and I'm just checking it out, and I'm clarifying the cards. Hmm. Okay. And we are going to see what your advice is. Hmm. Okay. What are you thinking about? Okay. All right. Whew. Everyone's thinking about moving forward with their life or like actually move, making moves. Maybe it's this time in the house. Okay, so the first card we got out the gate is the car is the thinker, right? And then we have it clarified by the two of wands and the queen of swords. And then from there... <laughs> we have the Eight of Cups. So you're not the first one to get the Eight of Cups. So I think that you are waiting. In the past, you are waiting for someone to make a decision for you. So you... I read this as like two things. Like it could have been like you were waiting to leave a situation or you were waiting for the situation to leave you, which is an uncommon. And I almost see that as like waiting for the situation to leave you simply because maybe you're weighing the consequences. Maybe you're weighing the consequences over, you know, planning, forging and planning a path ahead, going in one direction versus leaving and going in another direction. So in the past, you were probably just thinking about that. And the thing about the Queen of Swords is that, like, she's ready. She's always ready to make that decision. She doesn't make decisions lightly. And I kind of read this as, like, you can move towards the past or towards the future. Because on the one hand, oh, wow. On the one hand, you feel like the situation could go the distance. So it could be a job. It could be an art project. It could be something like that. Because maybe at the time, or maybe in the past, or currently, like, harmony and balance, temperance. So I think part of it is that it's just like, maybe you're working towards building this foundation. Because I know that people, a lot of times, people read the, the two of wands, like a soulmate card and temperance. But let's see, I need one more to figure this out, because this is really interesting. Mm. And like that, one card changes the whole meaning. Okay. We got the Four of Wands and we got the Temperance card. And then with those two, we have the Ten of Wands. And with the card, go the distance. So what I'm thinking is that while you were waiting, thinking, and kind of assessing the situation or figuring out think you were getting overwhelmed with trying to find balance in the situation. So it could have to do at home. It could have to do something with something foundational. But I think that it started to become overwhelming trying to figure out how to go the distance in this situation. Shit. That's tough. Okay. So let's see. What else? It looks like ultimately you might be deciding to dip off to see. And I only see that as like the Ten of Pentacles and the Star. Those two cards are clarifying it. So it could be that like 
you're on some Aquarian shit and you kind of see a future. You see, you see an abundant future, I think. If you take off, if you move in this direction that you want to go in, could be you pursuing a new type of job. It could be you, whatever it is. Yeah. The King of Swords is on top of, wow, this is like super strong air energy. Okay. The thing about air signs is that, at least in my opinion, it takes them a while to decide, but when they do, they really do take everything into account. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Star, and with the with the to the C card, I kind of read this as like you gotta go on a journey. Some type of journey though. I know you're like, what? But it's a journey towards like abundance. And it could be, but it's like spiritual abundance. It's spiritual abundance that's gonna lead monetary abundance. It's good, yeah. It's like they both influence the other. And the King of Swords, the King of Swords, once he decides he's fucking done, and you already got the Queen of Swords over there as well, you know, huh? I mean, King of Swords don't play. It really doesn't. Let me do one more just kind of see. Yeah, so this involves a leap of faith. So you might have been calculating exactly what you were going to do in this leap of faith for a while. But with the full card on top of it, with the King of Swords, is that it's like, it's a calculated risk. Shit. It's a calculated risk. You know. You know you're going to get this. If you, if you take this jump, and you believe, you do it. You could be an air sign. It's just like, you know, it's really, I don't know. I just read this as like, and it's a new beginning, but it's it's going in a different direction. It may involve travel, although right now it's kind of strange if it didn't involve travel. And I think it's involving a decision you've been waiting to take action on with this King of Swords. Damn, this is hella air energy in this one. Jesus. Well, I mean, mentally, it sounds like I said, you've really thought about it. It looks like you're ready to do this. Think about the, the Knight of Swords that he can be a little in and out. And so, you know, and with the Two of Swords. And, yeah. And the High Priestess. Okay. There we go. It's a lot of cards on this one. I'm sorry. I just needed to know what's going on. So it looks like you got out of your head on this one. It's not so much you're following your heart, but it's like when people are comfortable, you can you can do all the math in the world and all the data and be like, hey, if I leave this comfortable situation, I will do better and people will still stay because it's like they're comfortable. And, and it's understandable. I mean, hell, like that's why they're called leaps of faith because you have to have faith and believe. And so... Yeah, let's see though. It looks like you jump in anyway and clean it up. All right. Clean it up. So this jump you're making, this calculated risk that you're taking, but it's not a calculated risk. It's just, it looks like a risk to other people, but it's not to you. Like this is you jumping in the right direction, but it's going to involve you to make a lot of changes. Like, I want to say lifestyle changes, but let me just clarify this. It changes though, but I think you know that. Like, I think you know that to do this is going to require something from you. And it's like changes that you need to make. But it's almost like it's things you've been wanting to do for a while. Huh. Damn. Damn. Sorry to just go all quiet on you. Now you got all this damn fire energy. So you just might have a lot of air and fire in your chart. That can make it a little bit hard. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking.
if you're moving towards this queen, because I got the queen of wands and the chariot that are clarifying it. The point, okay, whoever you're moving towards, because this is, this is, okay, so you may have been involved with a, a person, a feminine energy. They don't necessarily have to be a woman, but they're in this kind of queen of wands energy of like, they are balanced, they're sexy, they're creative, they're intuitive, and they'll also fuck you up if you disrespect them. In the past, you probably rushed in like a knight of wands. So it could also just be a situation that requires more finesse, but you went in there, you went in hot and whatever it was, that situation made you feel immature. You know, you wanted to be seen as kind of like this knight, but they're really seeing you as a page over it. And so now to get it together, you kind of want to come back as this dude in a chariot. Balance. Bless. Look at him. Blessed. Been through some things. Matured. All of that. Hmm. Part of me thinks it means like clean up your act a little bit. But I think that it's like. You're going to have to make those moves and take those actions to be taken seriously. I read this as you're going to have to make some moves in order for, and it doesn't mean physical moves. It just means make some changes, get rid of these things that you probably always want, not get rid of, but things you've wanted to change or alter things that no longer serve you and actually show people that that's what you're on. So that might mean moving on to requiring more from yourself. Yeah. Hmm. So it could be that this person or this this person okay, if this is about a person huh Okay, yeah. I think you I think you wanted them to see you a certain way and so you went in hot and they saw you as immature. But the thing is I think they also probably told you or the situation has shown you how to act. Like if you're gonna go in that direction, you go this way. You don't go in like this. You know, unreliable as fuck. The damn Knight of Wands. Just annoying. But. Cherry. Look at me. I'm Cherry. Mature. Well, season, but like stable. I mean, it is Cancer Energy. So maybe in the past you just kind of went in. On the short term. And now you're like, I actually want to stick around. I don't know though. Look like somebody trying to make a solid move. And I just read this one. And the cost of everything else that. Maybe you're you're ready to show this queen of wands that you're not full of shit. I don't know. Whoa. I don't know. What's up with all y'all having like family shit or love shit? But that one was just really strong. So I think that if anything, the queen of wands, is, this person can't be duped. So whoever this person is, you're going to have to show, you, show them that you cleaned up whatever your act was. Hmm. That was extra. Damn. I mean, I'm normally one that I don't tell people that they got to prove themselves to someone. So it might not be proving yourself. It might just be showing them that like. Showing them more of yourself. I'm so sorry. Um, Maybe you, you need to. Okay. Yeah. You need to show them. I don't know. It almost just seems like you went in immature. Yeah, so you need to go in and like actually show them that you're a grown ass adult and act like you have some sense. I'm sorry, that's that's what I got. That's what I got. Yeah, and clean up the bullshit. And I, I just yeah. I'm sorry to get so spicy with you, pile three. But I wish you the best of luck. Shit, it seems like that person or whatever the situation is is more. So you just gotta go and like, hey. And I think with less bullshit. 
go in like the cherry. Don't go in like the the Knight of Wands. And yeah. Good luck, shit. But you're confusing as pile. I'm never that confused. But see you around, you know. Hit me on Insta. Drop a comment. Let me know what happened. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.